Hello, hello, everybody. This is Milky. Today, I'm going to share with you my top five tips for survivalists to help you build an awesome colony with your monkeys. These are the tips that can help you with getting consistent food and crafting resources, and the most important thing, monkey management. I hope that you will find my tips helpful, and let's get started. The first tip is using animal traps to get consistent food resources. Food is a very important resource for almost all survival games, and it's the same here. When going on adventures or being attacked, we get hungry very easily, so it's important to get reliable food resources. And the easiest way I found is just crafting a row of animal traps, and ta-da! You get meat and furs automatically, and don't need to go out and hunting or ask a monkey to collect berries around. Run. Later in game, I also automated my monkey to auto cook for me and put the cooked meals into the storage, which makes me never need to worry about getting food anymore. This is awesome and gives me more time to go out and explore the island. Now that we solved the food problem, the second tip is having a monkey to carry your chest for you when exploring. The stuff you can carry in game by yourself is very limited, and Milky always finds that I need more storage space to put all the stuff I found during adventuring. So I always have a monkey that travels with me while carrying the chest. And later in game, I always find that one chest is not enough. So sometimes I have two monkeys with two chests until I was able to build a bigger chest. One bonus tip: if you happen to unlock the materials or the technology to craft a bigger chest, you can buy a large chest from the shop in early game pretty easily. And here's Milky's third tip, which is adventuring to new islands as soon as you can for finding rare resources like metals and gems. In my starter island, Milky was having a really hard time finding metals and gems for unlocking new blueprints. As I decided to travel to New Island, I was able to find so much more metals, gold, and gems, and it helps a lot with the、uh, ad advancement. Metals can found everywhere in my second island, and I was able to find red gems to build teleporters around the volcano areas. I also found green gems and mango trees in the swamp areas. I will highly recommend to make a sale as soon as possible and venture to New Islands early, so you can find more different type of resources and advance. In technologies faster, and don't worry too much about rebuilding a base. That was Milky's biggest worry when I was thinking about leaving the island. Actually, once you have enough monkeys and asking them to automating the task for you, I was able to rebuild my base on a second island ten times faster because the monkey did all the work for me. And I will talk more about monkey management in the later tips. And the fourth tip is training a monkey army to fight with you early. While the second island has a lot more resources, it also has dangerous biomes like swamp and the volcano areas, and more dangerous animals that constantly attack you. Milky usually now have two fighting animal travel with me always to keep me safe and help me with fighting. I would suggest give one monkey close range weapon like spear and give another monkey long range weapon like arrows. Once the monkey become more experienced at fighting, they will become great helpers when you explore labyrinths or fighting during a raid. Or if you just want to attack a random goblin village, they will kill those goblins so fast, much better than Milky. And here comes the last and the most important tips, which is monkey management. In later game, I was able to have a big monkey army that automates almost everything for me. They will auto collect resources, put them into storage, and when I start a recipe, they will deliver it auto crafted, and they will also auto deliver for blueprints and craft new buildings. And here's how I will assign them. I usually have around three resource collecting monkeys: one monkey for mining, the other one for tree cutting and collecting berries, and the last one for digging out mud or sand. And then I will have one to two hauler monkeys that put stuffs into storage and collecting stuff for crafting. Then Milky have one monkey to craft items at the crafting table and the forge. And I have a separate monkey that focuses on craft blueprints and new buildings. And I also have a monkey that follows me around and carrying chests. And the last and the most important, I have one to two monkeys that helps me during fighting. If you find more monkeys, I'd suggest adding them to your fighting group so you can have a group of experienced, strong monkeys that fights for you. 
Once you have a lot of monkeys, it becomes super hard to keep track of them. Honestly, Milky lost track of them a lot, and sometimes I just find them in some weird part of the island and I have to go and retrieve them. One tip that helps keep track of the monkeys and remember which monkey does what is by assigning different colors to the monkeys. I would suggest assigning colors based on their assigned work, like make the mining monkey metal color. This will help you a lot with remembering and grouping the mon monkeys later in game. And that's all my tips for how to build an awesome colony in the survivalist. I definitely hope you find my tips helpful. If you do, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any other awesome tips, please share them with me in the comments. And feel free to ask if you have any questions during the game. Thank you guys so so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys next time.